कुछ किया क्वेश्चन उसके रिगार्डिंग एक दो क्वेश्चन किए चल समय कोशिश करते हैं ठीक है तो आगे हम लोग क्या पढ़ेंगे दैट इज जो इम्पोर्टेंट है वो है बैलेंसिंग ऑफ केमिकल इक्वेशन ओके तो बैलेंसिंग ऑफ केमिकल इक्वेशन ये दैट इज इम्पोर्टेंट बैलेंसिंग ऑफ केमिकल इक्वेशन तो हम इक्वेशन को कैसे बैलेंस करते हैं इसको समझते हैं ठीक है फॉर एग्जाम्पल अगर हमारे पास सब दो ही रूल है बहुत ही सिंपल एक रूल है कि डू नॉट बैलेंस या अगर मैं बात करूं कि बैलेंस इक्वेशन पहले जरूरी क्यों है वाई देर इज नीड टू राइट अ बैलेंस केमिकल इक्वेशन हमेशा बैलेंस केमिकल इक्वेशन क्यों लिखनी चाहिए और इस पर एक सवाल भी आता है वाई देयर इज अ नीड टू राइट बैलेंस्ड केमिकल इक्वेशन समझ आए ना कि हमें एक बैलेंस केमिकल इक्वेशन लिखनी क्यों चाहिए क्यों जरूरी है ओके okay? तो अगर हम बात करें एक केमिकल uh, इक्वेशन की तो यहाँ पर हमें समझना है कि फॉर एग्जांपल मैंने यहाँ पर एग्जांपल लिया है कि एन टू वेन रियक्ट विद एच टू इट गिव्स टू अमोनिया एन एच थ्री ओके ये मैंने आपको समझाया भी था पिछली क्लास में फॉर्मेशन ठीक है तो अगर अगर एन टू रियक्ट करता है हाइड्रोजन के साथ तो हो नहीं रहता है यहाँ पर आप देखोगे कि यहाँ पर नाइट्रोजन एक नाइट्रोजन के आइटम का जो मास होता है वो फोर्टीन होता है तो दो आइटम का कितना होगा ट्वेंटी एट एक हाइड्रोजन आइटम का जो मास होता है वो वन वन होता है तो यहाँ पर दो का कितना होगा ट्वेंटी इसी तरह से नाइट्रोजन आइटम सेवनटीन सॉरी फोर्टीन एक नाइट्रोजन आइटम फोर्टीन और तीन हाइड्रोजन आइटम मिलकर तीन दो जैसे यहाँ पर टू बना रहे हैं टोटल टोटल हो हो गया गया पर पर कितना कितना रहा रहा है 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 तो 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 बाकी का मास गया? Yes, मास नहीं हो सकता तो होता क्या है कि एक केमिकल केमिकल के दौरान ओके okay? जब भी हम लोग के कोई केमिकल इक्वेशन लिखते हैं या कोई केमिकल रिएक्शन लिखते हैं उसके अंदर रिएक्टेंट और प्रोडक्ट का मास बराबर होना चाहिए इसी को बोलते हैं लॉ ऑफ कंजर्वेशन ऑफ मास क्या बोलते हैं उसको लॉ ऑफ कंजर्वेशन ऑफ मास ओके तो पहला रीजन तो यही है कि ड्यूरिंग ड्यूरिंग केमिकल रिएक्शन मास केमिकल रिएक्शन और केमिकल चेंज मास कैन नीदर बी क्रिएटेड neither be created nor destroyed theek hai mass ko na hi to create kar sakte hai na hi kya kar sakte hai destroy nahi kar sakte theek hai so jitna mass reactant par hai uska utna hi mass product par bhi hoga so total mass total mass on the reactant reactant must be Equal to total mass on the product product side. Okay, you understood? Yes, sir. Reason ये ही है कि अच्छा chemical जो nuclear reactions होती है ना nuclear reactions के आसी होती है जिसमें हम लोग mass को break करके energy में convert कर लेते हैं ice ring equation से तो वो nuclear reactions होती हैं और nuclear reactions के जो laws होते हैं वो नॉर्मल रिएक्शंस पर वैलिड नहीं होते तो यहाँ पर मैंने केमिकल रिएक्शंस लिखी न्यूक्लियर रिएक्शंस में ये लॉ वैलिड नहीं करता न्यूक्लियर रिएक्शन में मास कैन बी डिस्ट्रॉयड मास कैन बी कन्वर्टेड इनटू एनर्जी यू अंडरस्टूड बट इन इन केमिकल रिएक्शंस मास कैन नॉट बी क्रिएटेड नॉट डिस्ट्रॉयड टोटल मास कंजर्व रहता है दूसरा डाल्टन एटम थ्योरी का एक पॉस्टुलेट है कि एटम को आप डिस्ट्रॉय नहीं कर सकते हाँ एटम हम लोग डिस्ट्रॉय नहीं कर सकते केमिकल चेंज के दौरान भले ही न्यूक्लियर रिएक्शन में हम लोग उसको डिस्ट्रॉय कर सकते हैं तोड़ सकते हैं इलेक्ट्रॉन प्रोटॉन और न्यूट्रॉन में लेकिन न्यूक्लियर केमिकल रिएक्शन के अंदर नहीं तोड़ सकते न्यूक्लियर रिएक्शन जो होती है वो न्यूक्लियर रिएक्टर्स में होती है एटॉमिक बॉम्ब में होती है ठीक है उनके अंदर होती है लेकिन अगर हम बात करें नॉर्मल जो टेस्ट ट्यूब के अंदर हम लोग रिएक्शन करा रहे होते हैं ठीक है तो वहां पर तो केमिकल रिएक्शन होती है वहां पर न्यूक्लियर रिएक्शन नहीं है वहां पर एटम्स नहीं ब्रेक करते तो अगर हम बात करें यहाँ पर दूसरा रीजन क्या है दूसरा रीजन यही है कि एटम्स During, sorry, according to Dalton theory, according 
to dalton according to dalton एटॉमिक थ्योरी या एटॉमिक थ्योरी या फिर चलो एटॉमिक थ्योरी एटॉमिक थ्योरी ठीक है अकॉर्डिंग टू डाल्टन एटॉमिक थ्योरी क्या होता है कि पॉस्टुलेट एटम्स एटम्स कैन नीदर बी क्रिएटेड नीदर बी created not destroyed destroyed during a chemical reaction during a chemical reaction chemical reaction a chemical reaction ke dauran nahi tod sakte aap nuclear reaction mein to tod sakte ho lekin chemical reaction mein atoms break nahi karte so total total number of atoms on reactant and product side should we mean same matlab total number of atoms jo hai wo equal hone chahiye samajh aaya yes samajh aaya to jaise yahan par hai jaise yahan par hai do nitrogen ke atoms hai to do hi nitrogen ke atoms yahan par hone chahiye दो हाइड्रोजन के हैं तो दो ही होने चाहिए ना ही तो आप क्रिएट कर सकते हैं ना ही डिस्ट्रॉय कर सकते हैं यहाँ पर आपने एक नाइट्रोजन आइटम क्रिएट हो गया डिस्ट्रॉय हो गया देखो एक बच्चा जाओ पर यहाँ पर एक क्रिएट कर लिया तो ऐसा नहीं हो सकता तो उसके लिए हम लोग इसको बैलेंस करते हैं क्या करते हैं उसके लिए बैलेंस करते हैं जैसे एन टू प्लस एच टू एन एच समझ आया तो अभी यहाँ पर कितना नाइट्रोजन है एक यहां पर कितना नाइट्रोजन है 2 सो व्हाट वी नीड टू मल्टीप्लाई वी नीड टू मल्टीप्लाई बाय 2 गॉट इट समझ आया यस सर नाउ मूविंग टू दिस वन दिस इज h2 एंड दिस इज h यू हैव टू राइट हियर व्हाट दिस हाउ मेनी हाउ मेनी नाइट हाइड्रोजन एटम्स आर देयर नाउ 6 6 सो आई हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई हियर बाय 3 सो दैट इट बिकम 6 ओके यस सर व्हाट सो दिस इज द केस दैट So have you noted these those statement that I have written here? Please note it down in your pocket. फिनिशर डन सो लेट्स मूव फर्दर लेट्स मूव ओके द मूविंग टू दिस पॉइंट हियर वी नीड टू कंसीडर दिस वन थिंग दैट हाउ टू बैलेंस अ केमिकल इक्वेशन हाउ टू बैलेंस अ केमिकल इक्वेशन okay how to balance a chemical equation so how can we balance a chemical equation tell me so there is two points that you need to keep in mind here is that first point is that a chemical equation can be balanced by keeping 
two points. सिंपल मैं आपके लिए लिख रहा हूं फर्स्ट पॉइंट है हमारे पास बैलेंस दैट एलिमेंट फर्स्ट विच इज लीज रिपीटिंग क्या हो गया पहला पॉइंट है बैलेंस बैलेंस दैट एलिमेंट फर्स्ट विच इज लीज रिपीटिंग विच इज लीज रिपीटिंग यू अंडरस्टूड We need yes, to balance sir. that element. What? Which is least repeating? For example, if I'm writing here a fee is so four, man heated. It will it will give you Fe two O three plus sulfur dioxide plus sulfur trioxide. You understood? Yes, sir. Now you see here this is two so four F. Sorry, this is uh this is sulfur, this is sulfur, this is sulfur. Sulfur is repeating two times and oxygen is repeating three times. Yes, okay, sir. So we are not going to balance the sulfur and And oxygen first. We will balance the least repeating element. That is, that is iron first. Okay, got it. Yes, sir. Got it. Next is balanced. That element, element first, which, yeah, हम बोलेंगे balance that element. At last, which is in its molecular or atomic form. अगर कोई एक element अपनी molecular या atomic form में लिखा हुआ है, for example, for example, if I'm writing Na Cl comma Cl two. comma br2 comma i2 comma o2 comma magnesium so if an element is written in its molecular form molecular means in its pure state it's pure yes, state not in the compound form like if i am saying carbon dioxide so co2 this is not the pure form of carbon dioxide oxygen and carbon yes, if it is yes, written sir. alone like carbon sulfur so we are going to balance them at last okay wonderful yes, sir Yes, sir. So here I'm going to give you an example. Here you need to solve it and balance it. It's three PO three when heated. It will will give you S three PO four plus PH three. Try to balance this equation. Which element will you balance first? Tell me. Have you noted those points? First, note the note those note those points, please. Yes, sir. Then, Amma. Then. You have muted. माइक अमार यस सर यस सर डम ओके सो प्लीज बैलेंस दिस इक्वेशन ट्राइ टू बैलेंस दिस इक्वेशन यस सर
Which element will you balance first? Hydrogen, phosphorus, or oxygen? Tell me. Sir, uh, phosphorus. Why phosphorus is repeating two times? You see here, phosphorus. You see here, phosphorus two times. Phosphorus, why phosphorus? Then oxygen. So oxygen is repeating only one time. So it will be oxygen. Okay. Yes, sir. Then tell me if this is oxygen, then how many oxygen atoms are there? Four. Yes. And how many are there? Three. Yes. So by what number should you multiply this and by this to make them equal? No. They should be multiplied by what? Tell me, three should be multiplied by what? Two. Two? Yes, sir. That's let I multiply this one and then this. By what number should I multiply this one? To make them equal. What is the LCM of three and four? What is the LCM of three yes. and four? Tell me. Yes, sir. Let me check. Uh, you will multiply this by three. No, four, okay. four. Okay, four. And this one? By three. By? Three. Three. Okay. okay, this become 12. This become 12. So I have to multiply this one by three. Four. Sir. Yes. And this one by three. Three. Now check whether it is balanced. How much how many uh, H plus and hydrogen atoms are there? Three, four are twelve. Check here. Three, three is a nine. And here. Here, here three, nine. Three. Nine yes. three. Nine plus three, twelve. Twelve. Hydrogen is balanced. How many phosphorus atoms are there? Four. Yes. And how many are there? Three yeah. and one, four. Four, yes. And how many oxygen? Four, three is a twelve. And here, three, four is a twelve. Twelve. Got it? Balanced? Yeah. Yes, sir. So what is the reason behind uh, uh, that how to balance the chemical equation? The simple is that that we need to balance that element first, which is least repeating. Okay. So yes, everyone sir. in the class, uh, please, uh, Ammar, along with Ammar, uh, another Ammar, Hashid and Ridwan. Okay. Let me explain you this one that we are just going to study this topic. That is, we'll just take five to six, five to 10 minutes to learn this topic. And this is very important. So everybody should notice and learn that how to balance the chemical equations. Okay. So today we're going to discuss that how, how to balance the chemical equations. So everybody in the class should learn this one. Then we'll move to the next topic that will, we are going in, in, in the normal batches. Okay. Normal. So, because this is important, everyone must understood that how to balance a chemical equation. So, the first point is that the, when we are balancing a chemical equation, balance that element first, which is least repeating, which is least repeating. Okay, means for example, this is oxygen here, oxygen, 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 oxygen is repeating three times. Sulfur is repeating two times. So, we have to balance first which element? The least repeating element and which is the least repeating element in this one? Everybody answer Ridwan, Amar, and other students. Please answer. Which is the least repeating? Fe or S or, or sulfur or oxygen? Which is least repeating element? Uh, Fe. Fe is the least repeating element. Okay. So first of all, if I'm giving you this equation, if I'm giving to give you this equation. Okay, this is Fe SO4 when heated. It will give you FeSO4 plus sulfur, sorry, Fe, Fe2O3. FeSO4 when heated, it will give you FeSO4. Mm -hmm. Fe2O3. Fe2O3 plus sulfur dioxide plus sulfur trioxide. Okay. So balance that element first, which is this repeating term. So this is iron, iron only. Sulfur is repeating two times, so we should balance iron. How many iron atoms are there? One. 
Hmm? How many iron atoms are there? One. And how many are there? Two. So should, which number should we, by what number should I multiply? Two. This iron by two. Okay. So I have to multiply this number by two. Now check. Check whether it is balanced or not. This is two iron. This is two iron. Check the sulfur. How many sulfur atoms are there? One. On the reactant side, how many sulfur atoms yes, are there? Sir. On the reactant side. One, one. One. And on the product side, sulfur atom is only one. Check it. This two is going to multiply with this sulfur atoms also. Okay. Two, sir. Two. And how many sulfur atoms are there? Two, sir. One here and one here. Okay. Calculate the total number of oxygen atoms. Yes, sir, it's balanced. Hmm? Balanced. Okay. How many oxygen atoms are there? Oxygen atoms are how many? Eight. And how many eight. are there? Three eight. and two, five and three, eight. Okay, eight. Balanced? Yes, sir. Now try to balance this equation. Everybody should balance this equation by using this point that we are going to balance that element first, which is least repeating. And the second one is balance that element for uh, at the last, which is in it, in its molecular or elementary form. Agar koi bhi element apni molecular ya elementary form mein likha hai, jase, for example, here, if an element is written like NaCl2 alone, Br2, I2, O2, Mg, S, chlorine. So we have to balance this element at last. Okay. Now I'm going to give you an example here. For example, if I'm going to give you Pb, lead nitrate, PbNO3, when heated, it will give you PbO plus NO2 plus O2. Please balance this. Which element? Which element will you balance first? PB, sir. PB. Why? Why not oxygen? Why not oxygen? Tell me why not oxygen? Because oxygen because is repeating. PB. Because PB is uh, least uh, repeating. Yeah, very good. Because PB is least repeating. Why other students are not participating? PB is not first. Because PB is least repeating. Oxygen is repeating two times. We can balance the nitrogen also. We can balance the nitrogen because nitrogen is also repeating one time. Okay. Got it. So we can balance the nitrogen atoms also. Understood? Yes, sir. So how many lead and lead is there? PB? One, one. And here is also one. So PB already balanced. Already balanced. Okay. Now moving to this point. How many nitrogen atoms are there? My next point is oxygen is repeating two times and more, moreover it is in molecular form also. So it oxygen must be balanced it at last. How now it's done it's done of nitrogen. What is the what is how many nitrogen atoms are there on the reactant side? Two, sir. Two. And how many are there? One. So I have to multiply here by two. Good. Okay. And uh, now this is uh, nitrogen is balanced. Now coming to the, now the only the element left is oxygen. How many oxygen atoms are there? Six. And uh, how many are there total? Five. Five. Yes. Okay. Five. Check it. It's wrong. Not five. Check it again. Seven, sir. Seven. Okay. Yes. Seven is two. Okay. Got it. So this is seven. Okay. So it is one. It is four here. So one and four, five and two, seven. Got it? You understood? Now what we are doing to going to do here is so you need to keep in mind this one. That this is one, 
and this is 4. Okay, if I write, if I change this one, the value of this one, then if I write, displace this one or write some value here, then lead will be unbalanced, nitrogen will be unbalanced. So only I have to, there is a problem of oxygen, so oh, I have sir. to reach the oxygen mm -hmm. only. If oxygen mein hi dikkat hai, oxygen ko hi hum log bolenge. So this is so going to have, me? yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, uh, sir, my uh, my laptop got stuck and I couldn't hear you properly. So, so can you explain one more time? Okay, I'm going to explain you again. Uh, yeah. We have to sim two simple rules that how to balance the chemical equation. The first rule is that is simple that every elements that is repeating multiple times or the element that is repeating multiple times we are going to balance that element at last or i can say that balance that element first which is least repeating jo sabse kam baar repeat hota hai usko sabse pehle balance karna hai to jaise lead yahan par ek hi baar hai aur yahan par bhi lead is also one time so what we are need to do here is we have to balance the lead first but lead is already balanced there is only one pb there is only one pb okay got it yes. And here, there are how many nitrogen atoms are there? Now, to coming to the nitrogen atoms. Okay. So, just see nitrogen atoms per angle. So, you will see that there are two nitrogen atoms. Sorry, one nitro. There are, there are two nitrogen atoms. There are two nitrogen atoms because this NO3 is in whole bracket with two. So, this two is multiplying with this one and this one also. Okay. Not with lead because lead is not in the bracket. So there are two nitrogen atoms and here, here is here was only one nitrogen atoms. So I have to place here two to balance the nitrogen atoms. Now the very, very important point that you that you need to learn here is this that that whenever you are balancing and uh, the other elements and you are balancing and you are finding an element that is in molecular form. Koi ek element apni molecular form O2 akila likha hua hai. Ye carbon ke saath nahi hai. Ye sulfur ke saath nahi hai. Ye kisi or element ke saath nahi hai. Akila hai. Or if we are facing a problem with balancing oxygen only. So for example, there are how many, how many oxygen atoms are there? There are six oxygen atoms. And how many are there? Total, in total with this. Because in this element, oxygen is not free. It is with some other elements also. So jab agar kisi or element ke saath hai, what we need to do? We need to balance the oxygen, but how we balance? Let me let me learn. This is one oxygen atoms, and this is two oxygen atoms. Two to the four. So one and plus four, you will get total five in this one. Five here. So keeping in mind, if we are having five oxygen atoms here, agar humare paas yahan par five oxygen atoms hai, and we need to balance the last uh, bas oxygen atoms, some log ko balance karna hai. So we need one more. There is six. We need one more, but here are two. So how can we make two with two ko one kaise? How can we make two to make it one? We cannot write the oxygen like oh, we can't write oxygen like that. If we write like that, so what is going to happen is this: if we write oxygen like that, then it will be wrong. We can't write like that because oxygen, like oxygen is always exists in O2 form, not O form. So I cannot write here by displacing this. I have to write it. So keep in mind. And we need to write it again. PbNO3 hold twice when heated. It will give you PbO plus 2NO2. Right now we are here. And O2. So how can we balance this? How can we balance this oxygen atoms? So this is 5 oxygen atoms here. And this is only 2. So it is making 7. But we need 1. So by what number 2 should be multiplied to get 1? Tell me. By what number 2 should be multiplied to get 1? It can mean fraction also. Tell me. Tell me by what number two should be multiplied to get one? One. Hmm? By what number two should be multiplied to get one? It is should be half. One by two. Very good. So it should be multiplied with half. Okay, half se multiply kar Abhi ye equation, this equation is completely balanced. Nobody can refuse that this equation is not balanced. This equation is balanced. But in general, we don't write, we don't write like this half in fraction, like this. We don't write. Okay, hum log aise likhte nahi. So in order to remove this two from the denominator, what we need to do here is we are just going to multiply this whole equation by two. Why we are multiplying? So because when this two is going to multiply with this one, you will get two PB. NO3 whole twice 
when two this two is going to multiply with this one you will get two pbo when this two is going to multiply with this one you will get two into two you will get four no two and again when this two is going to multiply with this half two into half this two two will get cancelled and you will get only o two so this is the way that how can you remove it the denominator so what is in the denominator you have to multiply the whole equation by this one okay now it is completely balanced you can assume that if i am writing 2 pb no3 it means 1 pb no3 whole twice and another pb no3 whole twice so you can check how many lead are there there are two lead there are two lead how many nitrogen atoms are there two here from and two here that is four so two here and two four okay you get and how many oxygen atoms are there six two three are six and six twelve check it two four two is eight and two Two plus eight plus two, you will get twelve. Got it? Understood? Yes, sir. Everybody understood? Yes. Yes, sir. Sure. Madhya, you understood? Yes, sir. Okay. Let you. Uh, let me teach you one more thing. That uh, let let please try to balance this. Uh, please copy this equation first. Please copy this equation first. Copy this equation. and then please try try to balance this equation c 2 plus o2 will gives you carbon dioxide plus water please balance this equation is noted down done are you balancing this one yes sir okay please try to balance this one c2s6 plus oxygen gives you carbon dioxide plus water please balance this equation this is very important i have taught e everybody everyone in the class that how to write the chemical formula in the in the uh, class okay how to write the formula chemical formula of the compound of a chemical like and how to write the chemical equations i have taught you this one okay to agar kisi ko nahi aata hai chemical formula likhna please let me know if there if there is someone who don't know how to write the chemical formula if you if he or she don't know that how why the formula of lead nitrate is pbno3 please let me know because this is the basics of chemistry if you don't know how to write the chemical formula you cannot do anything in the chemistry okay, okay. so honestly everybody if there is someone in the class who don't know and who missed the class please let me know how to write the chemical formula i will teach him or her again okay got it
So have you balanced this one? C two S six plus O two gives you CO two plus water. No, sir. Are you trying or still doing? Is there anyone yes, who has sir, completed yes. this? Please try it. Please try it. Everybody, please try it. Your oxygen, Ridwan, your oxygen is not balanced. On the right hand side, you have written 3O2, but you check it, you will getting 6 oxygen on the reactant side, but on the product side, 2, 2 is a 4. If you are writing here 2, then 2, 2 is a 4, and oxygen is 3. So here it is 3. So there you are getting 3 and 2. You're getting 7 oxygen atoms here. And there is only, you have written here 3. So there are 6 oxygen atoms. So this is not balanced, okay? Please check it and do it again. Is there anyone in the class who can turn on his camera or her camera? Because it make me feel convenient that whether you are doing uh, studying or not studying properly. Try to open the camera. Done? No. So let me help you. To figure out this one, let me help you. Please, dear students, writing a chemical equation and how to predict what compound what a compound is going to form, you must know this one. This is very, very important. I'm repeating again. Be honest with yourself and be honest with the teacher. The person who is not honest with the teacher and the doctor will be get affected in the examination. Okay. अगर डॉक्टर से नहीं होगे तब भी दिक्कत हो जाएगी. डॉक्टर से अगर आप नहीं बताते हो सारी चीजें तब भी दिक्कत है. और अगर आप टीचर से नहीं बताते हो तब भी दिक्कत है तो अगर आप मुझसे नहीं कहोगे तो फिर आपको अफेक्ट होगा ओके तो अगर आपको नहीं आता तो लेट मी प्लीज ऑनेस्टली यू कैन टेक्स्ट मी ठीक है आप मुझे बता दीजिए सर मुझे नहीं आता है तो मैं आपको एक्सप्लेन करूंगा आपको फिर से सिखाऊंगा इच एंड एवरीथिंग ओके सो आई एम राइटिंग हियर आई एम राइटिंग हियर वन मोर थिंग ओके सो लेट मी एक्सप्लेन यू दैट दैट अगेन दैट सी2 एस6 आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू द हिंट सी2 एस6 प्लस ओ2 गिव्स यू Gives you water plus carbon dioxide. Okay. Balance first balance the carbon and hydrogen and then balance the oxygen. And this are total number of oxygen will be seven and their total number of oxygen. How to make seven? How to make two? What by what number two should be multiplied to get seven? Okay, I'm coming in one. Then, by what number, when you balance this hydrogen and oxygen, I know you can balance the hydrogen and oxygen. Itna to mujhe pata, you can do this. But the, when you balance the hydrogen and oxygen, then you will get a number of oxygen that is 7. By what number should this, this 2 be multiplied to get 7? Tell me. Sir, by 7. By 7 by 2, 2 will get cancelled. Okay. How many carbon atoms are there? 2. And how many carbon atoms are there? Tell me. That is 2. And how many hydrogen atoms are there? 6. And how many hydrogen atoms are there? 2. So you have to multiply it by 3. Understood everybody? Ammar, Ridwan, Adar, Madhya? Yes, sir. Understood? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Now... The total number of oxygen atoms are there. How many? Three. And how many are there? Four. So three and four, you will add seven. But what number should this oxygen be multiplied in order to get seven? So you cannot multiply it by seven. This will give you 14. You have to multiply it seven by two. Now this is balanced. Now this is completely balanced. But again, 
by what number you should multiply the whole equation to remove this denominator? This denominator you have to remove. By what number should you multiply the whole equation? Tell me. Kis number two. se multiply kare puri equation ko? Jo ye two khatam ho jaye. Bole. We should multiply it by two. The denominator, the denominator number we have to multiply. It, okay. So we have to multiply this by two. This when you multiply this by two, you will get two C two is six. Plus when you multiply this one by two, you will get seven O two. And when you multiply this one, you will get six H two O. And when you multiply this one, you will get four CO two. You understood, everybody? Yes, sir. Understood. Hmm. So this is yes, the sir. way. This is the way how to balance. Now you can check. They are the four carbon. They are the four carbon. You will check that they are twelve hydrogen. They are twelve hydrogen. You will check there is fourteen oxygen. You get six and eight fourteen oxygen. Understood, everybody? Yes, sir. Yes, yes. Okay. So please copy this one. I am going to give you. <clears throat> and Friday will be your test of chemistry. I think so. In the syllabus, I don't know. That that will be metals only. Metals and non-metals. So please revise that topic uh, very sincerely that I have written and I have I have taught you. And if someone missed the class, please watch your lecture on your portal. Okay, there will be. Portal and where you can watch your lecture. Okay, so let's move further. Okay, I'm going to give you one more question here. The last question regarding to this one. If I'm saying that ferrous, ferrous, sorry, ferric, ferric hydroxide, hydroxide, when, when. Can this equation be simplified? What What do you mean by? You have to write it. Simplify means I don't understand. This is ferric hydroxide when heated. Sorry, ferric hydroxide when react with sodium. Sodium sulfate. It will gives you ferric sulfate. Ferric sulfate plus sodium hydroxide plus sodium. हाइड्रोक्साइड, हाइड्रोक्साइड, ओके, सो इस तरह से आपके एग्जाम में क्वेश्चन आए, ओके, सिंपलीफाई मींस, प्रीवियस इक्वेशन सिंपलीफाई मींस Formula is there anyone in the class who can tell me the formula of ferric oxide and how to write the formula of ferric hydroxide? Hmm. अच्छा मुझे बताएं कोई मुझे बताएं what is the valency of ferric ion ferric ion what is the valency of ferric ion what is the valency of ferric ion I have given you the valency chart have you memorized this one बताइए ferric hydroxide का क्या formula होता है what is the formula of ferric ferric hydroxide इसी तरह से आपके एग्जाम में क्वेश्चन आएंगे एंड यू हैव टू आंसर दिस ऐसे लिखा आएगा और आपको बोला जाएगा राइट दिस वर्ड इक्वेशन इन टू अ बैलेंस्ड केमिकल इक्वेशन तो बैलेंस केमिकल इक्वेशन इज सिंपल यू हैव टू राइट दिस इन टर्म्स ऑफ सिंबल्स एंड फॉर्मूला ओके सो आयरन हैज टू टाइप्स ऑफ फेरेंसी वन इज फेरिक एंड अदर वन इज फेरस ओके दिस वन इज फेरस एंड दिस वन इज फेरिक ओके ये फेरस है और ये फेरिक है तो अगर हम लोग फेरिक हाइड्रोक्साइड की बात करते हैं तो हमें फेरिक में आयरन की वैलेंसी को थ्री लेना है और हाइड्रोक्साइड आयन जो होता है उसकी वैलेंसी होती है वन वॉट इट एवरीबडी अंडरस्टूड वेन यू क्रॉस मल्टीप्लाई दिस टाइम दिस यू विल गेट एफ ई ओ एच होल थ्राइस दिस इज द फॉर्मूला फॉर दी फेरिक हाइड्रोक्साइड एवरीबडी अंडरस्टूड अंडरस्टूड एवरीबडी मधिया समझ आया हाशिदान फॉर्मुलाइडिक 
formula for ferric sulfate again ferric is 3 and sulfate is so4 that is so4 that is going to have 2 so what should be the formula batai bolu kya formula hoga ferric sulfate ka f2so4 and ridwan sorry amar amar batao kya kya jawab hoga fe2so4 thrice ha madhya kya sahi bola ridwan amar ne yes sir we hum kya karenge we have to multiply cross multiply we will get fe2so4 whole thrice whole means full bracket and thrice this will get feso4 fe2so4 whole thrice plus sodium hydroxide what should be the formula for sodium sodium hydroxide tell me sodium hydroxide ka formula batao hmm bataiye sodium hydroxide ka formula kya hota hai na oh kya hota hai formula na oh samajh aaya yes na oh got it everybody understood NaOH क्या होल ट्वाइस वगैरह नहीं आएगा नहीं क्योंकि Na की भी वैलेंसी वन होती है और हाइड्रोक्साइड की भी वन होती है तो व्हेन यू मल्टीप्लाई दिस टू यू विल गेट NaOH ओके व्हाट इट समझ आया सो अभी देखो एक एक तो रिएक्शंस ऐसी होती है जिसमें ना डिसइंटीग्रेट कर जाता है मतलब चीजें ना टूट जाती है ब्रेक कर जाती है जैसे फॉर एग्जांपल आई हैव रिटन दिस इक्वेशन प्रीवियस इन द प्रीवियस वन दैट इज FeSO4 व्हेन हीटेड इट विल गिव्स यू Fe2O3 plus sulfur dioxide plus sulfur trioxide. यहाँ पर ना चीजें टूट रही हैं। देखो सल्फर जो है वो स्प्लिट कर गया है दो पार्ट में, ओके? ब्रेक कर रहा है। But there are some equations where this ions does not get dis 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 मतलब they are not disintegrated। ये disintegrate नहीं करते हैं। सिर्फ ये ब्रेक करते हैं जैसे जैसे आप यहाँ पर देखेंगे। You will see here that this is OH ion and this is OH ion here, okay? And this is sulfate ion here. This is sulfate ion. This is not breaking, but the ions are exchanging. This OH ion will come with this one, and this SO4 ion is coming with this one. So this is a type of displacement reaction. So, but double displacement reaction. So here you notice that what are you going to notice here that the ions are not getting this. This they are not getting disintegrated. Okay, they are not disintegrating. So what we need to do in such type of equations? यहाँ पे तो सब बराबर ही repeat कर रहे हैं. एक SO4 है, एक SO4 है. तो फिर इस तरह की क्वेश्चन में हम लोग कैसे बैलेंस करेंगे सो फर्स्ट ट्राई टू बैलेंस ट्राई टू बैलेंस दी पॉलीटोमिक आयन पॉलीटोमिक आयन पॉलीटोमिक आयन मीन्स जिसमें एक से ज्यादा आयन होते हैं जैसे एसओ फोर है जैसे ओ OH है इनको पहले बैलेंस करिएगा अगर आप इनको पहले बैलेंस करेंगे देन इट विल इट विल बी मोर इजियर फॉर यू टू बैलेंस दिस इक्वेजन सो अभी हम क्या करते हैं वट वी नीड टू डू हेयर इज जस्ट लिसन टू मी एंड वट वी नीड टू डू हेयर इज Na, Na2SO4, okay. This is two sodium. This is one sodium. Okay, you can balance the sodium first. It's your choice. But try to. It's my choice. It's my personal choice. Just try to balance the polyatomic ion. Let's, for example, self SO4 ion. So how many SO4 ions are there? Tell me. How many SO4 ions are there? Three. Three. And how many are there? How many are there? There are only so there are only one. So we have to multiply it by three. Now it has become three SO four. Three SO four. SO four is balanced. Now coming to the point that how many OH ions are OH ions are there? Tell me how many OH ions are there? Three. And how many are there? One. One. So I have to multiply here by three. Now you have balanced the OH. Yeah. We have balanced this. Okay. Now coming to this point, what we need to do here is that now how many? Now coming to the point that how many iron atoms are there? Two. So how many are there? Two. One. So I have to multiply it by two. Now for this, you see that if I am changing this digit, the hydroxide ion is again changing. So this is becoming six. And how many are there? So I have to multiply it by two again. Two into three means six. What it? Understand? Hmm? Yes, sir. Yes. And now, how many sodium atoms are becoming here? Two. 
six, two, three, the six, and how many are there? Six, it is balanced. Got it? So yes, everything, sir. everything is yes. balanced. So what should be the correct form? Two Fe, OH whole thrice, whole thrice plus three N and Na2SO4 plus Fe, two SO4 whole thrice, and then again plus NaOH. Six elements. Okay, six elements. One thing you need to keep in mind here that is very important, and you need to keep in mind, dear student, that agar ap formula likna nahi aata, if you are not writing, if you are not able to write the correct formula of the compound, then it will create a problem in balancing also. For example, अगर आप यहाँ पर फेरिक हाइड्रोक्साइड की जगह पर अगर आप फेरस हाइड्रोक्साइड यानी एफ ई ओ एच होल्ड ट्वाइस कर देते एफ ई ओ एच होल्ड ट्वाइस कर देते तो फिर आप इस इक्वेजन को बैलेंस नहीं कर पाते फिर आप इस इक्वेजन को बैलेंस नहीं कर पाते सबसे पहले सबसे पहले एवरी स्टूडेंट मट नोट वन दैट यू मस्ट नो हाउ टू राइट द करेक्ट फॉर्मूला ऑफ द कंपाउंड अगर आपने शुरू में ही गलती कर दी मान लेते आपने एन का फॉर्मूला एनएसओ फोर लिख दिया तो फिर ये इक्वेशन बैलेंस ही नहीं होगी फिर आप करते रहिए पूरा दिन बैठ के सो so, आपको जरूरी है कि आप सबसे पहले यू मस्ट नो हाउ टू राइट द करेक्ट फॉर्मूला ऑफ द केमिकल कंपाउंड ओके एंड दैट इज वेरी वेरी इजी जस्ट यू हैव टू राइट मेमोराइज सम बैलेंसेस एंड दैट विल बी इजी फॉर यू ओके गॉट इट गॉट इट समझ आया हम यस सर सो लेट्स मूव फर्दर Let's move further. So this was the topic that we were studying. Uh, Ashit, you were out of the class. अच्छा फिर से repeat कर repeat करो. मैं यही बोल रहा हूँ that कि whenever you are balancing a chemical equation, that you must know how to write the correct formula of the compound. If you don't know how to write the correct formula of the compound, then you will not be able to balance. Okay, the formula he wrote is wrong, so then you can't do anything. Then you can't balance. Then you can't balance. Okay, like here, it's very easy. 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 Like here, it's ऐसे लिखा हुआ है दिस कंपाउंड रिएक्ट विद सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड के साथ रिएक्ट करते हैं तो फिर आप कैसे करोगे हाउ विल यू राइट द करेक्ट फॉर्मूला तो सर अगर आपको पता होगा सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड H2SO4 होता है देन यू कैन राइट H2SO4 दिस ए रिएक्ट विद H2SO4 सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड इज एक्चुअली हाइड्रोजन सल्फेट सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड इज सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड इज एक्चुअली हाइड्रोजन हाइड्रोजन सल्फेट ओके so we called it sulfuric acid it is a common name for this one got it so i am just writing this uh, the formula of some very important uh, acids or substance that generally comes in your examination okay this when react with this so if you don't know the formula of that compound then how will you able to write that one so suppose uh, this is also in the ncert so let's suppose i am just going to write here that for example if i am writing feso4 ferrous sulf sorry I'm writing ethanoic acid. Ethanoic acid. The formula for ethanoic acid is CS3COOH, and it is it is the chemical formula. It is the chemical formula. The yeah, chemical name. It is the chemical name. And this one is the common name. For some compound, also have the common name. Common name. Kabi kabi acetic acid bhi aa jayega. Acetic. Acetic acid, okay. Acetic acid. So acetic acid be हो सकता है. Ethanoic acid be इसका नाम हो सकता है. इसी तरह से. This there can be another compound. For example, for example, sulfuric acid. Sulfuric acid, okay. Sulfuric acid is yeah. sulfuric acid is H two S four, okay. So or या इस सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड और इसको हम लोग इसका केमिकल नेम तो बोलेंगे एक्चुअल में हम बोल सकते हैं केमिकल नेम फॉर सल्फ्यूरिक एसिड इज 
hydrogen sulfate hydrogen sulfate but it is generally written as sulfuric acid sulfuric acid okay hydrogen sulfate is sulfuric acid hydrogen you have valency 1 and so 4 you have valency 2 when you cross multiply you will get h2so4 but they will not write you that this when react with hydrogen sulfate no they will write what they will write they will write uh, hydrogen sulfate instead of hydrogen sulfate they will write sulfuric acid similarly that is nitric acid nitric acid is hno3 this when react with nitric acid and if you don't know the formula of nitric acid then how will you write this is the formula for nitric acid. Nitric acid. Okay. You understood? Nitric acid. Similarly, another formula that generally comes in the ammunition that is hydrochloric acid. Hydrogen chloride. Hydrogen chloride is the chemical name, but this one is generally written as HCl and this is this is hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid. Okay. So, which compounds are SV? Yes, for example, question may this when burns in air, an object, or suppose could be carbon when burns in air. So, air formula to what what does it indirectly mean? Can anybody tell me? Oxygen, sir. Yes, it is reacting with oxygen. For example, magnesium ribbons burn in air. So, burn in air means reacting with oxygen. Common burn. In air means it is reacting with oxygen. Okay, got it. Similarly, the formula for ammonia, ammonia is NH3, NHC. Okay, Kabhi -kabhi ki, this when react with oxygen gas, this when react with chlorine gas. So chlorine is Cl, but these gases does not exist in the in the elementary form. The elementary form exists, they exist in the molecular form. So I'm writing those those elements that when their name is written, you have to write it Cl2 instead of Cl. Got it? Aapko Cl2 likhna hoga. Yase, ye wali jo hai. So I'm writing here. Uh, first note it down, please. Everybody, please note it down. First note it down. And this one is very, very important star. This is ethanoic acid. Next one is ethanol. This when react with ethanol. Ethanol. Ethanol is actually C2H5OH. Ethanol. Okay. Please note it down. You will today you will get the how to write the chemical equations and how to balance the chemical equations. You must know the you have to note this one. Okay. This is very important. Every this is the basics of chemistry. Done? Done? Nobody is replying. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So ethanol is c 2 h 5 okay? Ethanol, it is also called ethyl alcohol. Ethanol is, it's just, oh, sorry, I have it here, ethanol, c 2 c 2 h 5 oh and it is also called ethyl alcohol. Ethyl, ethyl alcohol. Okay, so please note it down. Ethanol is also called ethyl alcohol. Done? Ethyl alcohol. Now moving to this one. There are some gases. Gases. Gases that exist. That exist in molecular form. Molecular form. Exist in molecular form. Just for example, H2, hydrogen gas. So when it is said that this react with hydrogen gas. So hydrogen gas, you cannot write it C plus H. No, you cannot write if I'm saying this, any substance is reacting with hydrogen gas. Na, when react with hydrogen gas, it forms sodium hydride. The formula for sodium hydride is NH. NH valency is 1 and hydrogen valency is 1. 
So you need to keep in mind that you cannot write this one like H. No, if you are reacting with hydrogen, you have to write H two, not hydrogen. Similarly, oxygen gas O two for oxygen gas, oxygen gas N two for nitrogen gas, nitrogen gas. Okay. Similarly, I two for iodine, iodine. Cl two for chlorine, chlo. Green gas. Okay, so you can't take it alone. Okay, so this is a, a Cl2, N2, O2, Br2, bromine gas. Bromine gas. Understood, everybody. But metals never exist in molecular form. Metals never exist in their molecular form. They exist in the atomic form. For example, these are the non-metals. Non-metals generally. Non-metals. And metals, like example. For example, sodium. So if I have written sodium when react with magnesium uh, oxygen gas, so sodium when react with oxygen gas, sodium when react with oxygen gas, it will give you sodium plus O two. You won't write here two because ox because sodium does not exist. The basics of chemistry that sodium does not exist in N two form, N A two form. Like magnesium when when bonds in air, so it means mag M G when bonds in air means reacting with O two, not O. And don't write here too. You cannot write here too. Okay. So sodium, magnesium, aluminium, calcium, magnesium, uh, potassium, potassium, and uh, okay, calcium, magnesium, aluminium, zinc, iron, tin, lead. Okay, copper, silver, silver. gold, platinum. Okay. So these are all written as people will think that I have written the Reactivity series. I am not written here, but I am writing here potassium, sodium, calcium. I'm writing here magnesium. Okay, this is the reactivity. Sodium, sodium, calcium, calcium, magnesium, aluminium. Okay, this is aluminium, zinc, iron, tin, aluminium. So they, whenever it is being written, okay. H two hydrogen है तो hydrogen को H two ही लिखना होगा hydrogen को H नहीं लिख सकते यहाँ पर भी नहीं यहाँ तो compound की form है तो that's why यहाँ तो formula बना है यार you see that Na is valency one hydrogen valency is one so the cross multiplier will be cut it when they are same so we'll write here NH but don't write here H two but in case of calcium hydride for example you have to write the formula of calcium hydride so calcium hydride में you have to write here two and that of hydrogen you have to write one when you cross multiply you will get CaH two समझ आया? Everybody understood? Yes, sir. तो कैल्शियम हाइड्रेट के फॉर्मूले में सी एस टू होगा, but the formula for sodium hydride is only NaH, NaOH. So this will be in the atomic form, right? Return in an atomic form. Return in atomic form. Okay. और ये जो होते हैं, this one, these are written in molecular form. Return in molecular form. ओके इसमें सल्फर भी आ जाता है सल्फर सल्फर को और कार्बन को हम लोग अकेला ही लिखते हैं तो इसमें एक्सेप्शन है नॉन मेटल्स है ये एक्सेप्शन है इज आर एक्सेप्शन ऑफ नॉन मेटल दैट दे डोंट रिटर्न इन मॉलिकुलर फॉर्म दैट सल्फर सल्फर अगर अकेला है एंड कार्बन अकेला है देन वी हैव टू राइट लाइक कार्बन बंस इन एयर तो वी हैव टू राइट C plus O2 नॉट C2 ओके एंड सल्फर बंस इन एयर वी विल राइट C plus O2 नॉट S2 ओके so you need to keep keep in mind this is an exception these are written in not written in molecular form not written in molecular form okay got it got it everybody yes sir acha ek aur cheez bachcho ko aata hai doubt that is ki we don't know that how the products are formed for example if a substance is reacting if a substance is reacting with a And reacting with A and B are reacting. They will form C. What they are going to form? ये नहीं समझ आता कि product क्या बनेगा. Today I am going to teach you the basics of chemistry. That's why this class is going to be on this total basics of chemistry. So the problem is that the student does not know that what product they are going to get. उनको ये नहीं समझ आता कि क्या product बनेगा. पहले तो formula लिखना सबसे important है. फिर दूसरा formula के बाद equation लिखना important है. Balance करना important है. और बैलेंस करने से पहले तो प्रेडिक्ट करना इंपॉर्टेंट होता है कि क्या बनेगा फॉर एग्जांपल इफ आई एम राइटिंग हियर सोडियम व्हेन रिएक्ट विद एस अब ये तो पता ही नहीं क्या बनेगा 
will it be na na hcl will it be or will it be na 2 hcl will it be nacl will it be nacl 2 samajh nahi so kuch cheeze to hame memorize karni padti there are something that we need to memorize okay we need to memorize something there are something that we need to memorize in general equations for example that acids when react with metals they form salt plus hydrogen gas this is the general equation if acids are there if they are acids then and you know that acids the formula for acid is scl hno3 okay h2so4 and iske alawa we have um, ch3coh okay so these are the general acids that generally comes in examinations okay scl hno3 h2so4 the most important are these three this one this one h2so4 i have written here yeah Okay, so this one, this one, and this one generally comes in examination. This one also comes in examination. Okay, there are other acids also. That is S3PO4, S3PO3. Okay, there are also some other acids. But the most commonly used is SCL, HNO3, H2SO4, CH3COH. So, so when they react, when they react with metals, and metals are generally like those, generally those metals will come that comes above the hydrogen in the reactivity series. That we have discussed uh, in the classes also. Again, generally, which metals are there which are reactive? Hote, jase, for example, sodium, calcium, magnesium, iron, zinc. Okay, these metals come. So, what we need to do here is, when acid, when acids are reacting with metals, when acids are reacting with metal, for example, zinc, so they will form, they will form salt plus hydrogen gas. But keep in mind that you have to write here hydrogen gas. Okay, because hydrogen gas is being formed. Then what is the salt form? Kya salt kya banega? So from the acids, you need to keep in mind that whenever the acids are reacting, their hydrogens is used for producing the hydrogen gas. Hydrogen to hydrogen gas produce karne gaya. Ab kya bacha? Acid mein. That is chloride ion and that is zinc ion. Now you have to make the formula that what is the correct formula for when zinc and zinc and chlorine is going to react. That what is the correct formula? You have to make it. So what you need to do here is that you have to write here two for the zinc and that for chlorine is one. Then to the, the valency, you know, you must learn their valency. So when you multiply, you will get ZnCl2. Okay. Then you have to write here the simple formula that is Zn, ZnCl2. Okay. Got it? You understood? Everybody? Understood? Yes, sir. Similarly, similarly, Another equation, for example, for example, if I'm having H2SO4, when react with, let's suppose it react with magnesium and H2SO4, when react with, when react with, uh, let's suppose it is reacting with uh, so sodium. So simple, this is metal, this is metal, this is acid, this is acid. So this will form hydrogen gas plus salt. Okay. Can you predict the salt that is going to form here? Hmm? Can you predict this salt? Jo salt yaha banega, kya bata sakte hain? Salt kya banega? Sir, Na2SO4. Na2SO4, very good. Because now this hydrogen gas is being used, produced here. Ab pas predict karna hai ki Na aur SO4 ka formula kya hota hai? That is, Na is ki valency 1. You have learned from the chart. SO4 is valency is 2. Cross multiply, you will get Na2. SO4. Got it? Understood? Yes, sir. And in this case, what should be the formula? Don't write, the, most of the student write NSO4. NSO4 is incorrect. You cannot write it. You cannot mix it. We can balance it later. There are two. You write here two balanced. But write the correct formula. For example, here, tell me what should be the formula? What should be the correct formula? Hmm? Mg SO4, yes. Because uh, this is hydrogen again goes into the uh, in, in production. Adi, are you there in the class? Other students, why are not replying? Yes, sir. Mg, when react with sulfate ion, SO4. When react with SO4 ion, okay. So, 
this hydrogen gas is being used now the formula for magnesium and sulfate ion magnesium is going to have two valency and so four is also going to have two valency you cut it you will get mg so four understood this is the first error right the student don't know that what is what should be the simple acid when react with metals it give you salt plus hydrogen gas the another type of reaction is that is a displacement reaction that generally comes displacement reaction displacement reaction ki agar suppose karo if i ring zinc when react with copper sulfate kya banega hame nahi pata zinc when react with with sodium kya banega hame nahi pata okay sodium chloride okay if i am writing here iron when react with uh, silver nitrate agno3 kya banega so this is a very simple reaction and what we need to do here is what we need to do here isme kya hota hai ki more reactive element displace kar deta hai less reactive element ko uske compound se so abhi hum log ko ye nahi pata ki what is more reactive what is less reactive so we have a table like we have sodium potassium uh, calcium magnesium aluminium zinc iron tin lead hydrogen then copper then then copper after copper we have we have copper we have silver ag is silver au is gold and pt is platinum writing the name this is iron sn is tin pb is lead okay ag is silver au is gold and pt is platinum so ye na scientists ne reaction kar kar ke dekha तो उन्होंने देखा कि कॉपर जो है पोटेशियम जो है इन सारे एलिमेंट्स में सबसे पहले अपना इलेक्ट्रॉन को लूज कर देता है और उसी के बेसिस पर उसकी रिएक्टिविटी को डिसाइड किया गया कि मेटल दैट कैन इजीली डोनेट दियर इलेक्ट्रॉन विद लेस एफर्ट दे आर कंसीडर टू बी एज मोर रिएक्टिव सो दे हैव एक्सपेरिमेंटली ऑब्जर्व दियर एनर्जी देवेरिमेंटली डन दिस वन ओके सो वेन देव डन दिस वन they find that potassium can in in some mein sabse pehle potassium apni energy ko lose karta hai understood so potassium is losing its energy so we will writing it at uh, uh, sorry losing its electron at in very low energy so we are writing it at to, at the top then after sodium then calcium then magnesium these are written accordingly so if i am having that this is zinc this is copper so you see the zinc is here when you learn this table okay you can when you learn this table you can easily predict the values okay so if i'm having this one is uh this one is zinc okay so zinc when react with copper so copper is coming at the here means after the hydrogen you see so zinc will displace it displace and when it displaces what is going to happen they will it will displace okay and when it displaces what is what is going to happen zinc will displace and will come in place of it of this one so copper will be separated from this one copper will become solid and now you have to write the formula what is the formula for zinc and sulfate when they react both are going to have two two valency so this will cancel out and they will write zinc sulfate here you see that zinc is zinc is displaced can't displace the sodium because sodium is more reactive and zinc is here zinc is here sodium cannot displace it okay sodium displace nahi kar sakta why because zinc is zinc is bole zinc more is active. more no zinc is less active zinc is coming below sodium is at the top so yahan par ho jayegi no reaction no re chemistry bahut aasan hai chemistry is not very difficult subject but you need to learn the concept yahan par aa jayega ki bataiye iska product kya banega to bhai zinc aapko yaad hoga ki zinc niche aata hai sodium upar aata hai to yahan par this is sodium is potassium so after the sodium is after potassium is sodium sodium is the second most reactive element in this reactivity series so you know that zinc is coming after so how can zinc is able to displace sodium so this one is more reactive more reactive so it will not able to displace so it will there will be no reactions again this one is iron and this one is ag so again when it displaces iron is coming here iron is here and silver is below hydrogen this is this is after this one okay so you see that iron is more reactive than silver so what it will do it will display the silver form it but and then you don't write fe no3 plus ag no you have to write the formula according to this one 
that what should be the formula when ferrous and and iron and nitrate are going to make their compound so you see that iron is going to have two valency and nitrate is going to have one valency so you have to write here according to their valency that is ferrous nitrate and this will be formula will be fe no3 whole twice okay got it got it everybody yes sir got it so this is the way that how to write the formula of the compound and how to write this. Okay. And the type of reaction is the double displacement reaction that generally comes. Okay. For example, if I'm having barium sulfate, barium, barium chloride, I'm having barium chloride, when react with sodium, sodium sulfate, it will give you barium, barium sulfate plus sodium chloride. Plus sodium chloride. Okay, I'm going to one one example of this one. Another example. Okay. Another example. For example, if I'm saying I'm saying that the previous example I have given. Okay. So for writing this one, barium chloride. The formula for barium is BaCl2 because barium is two valency, chloride ion is one valency. So we'll get BaCl2. Similarly, sodium sulfate is Na2SO4. So this is a displacement reaction. The more reactive it means there is an exchange of ions going to take place. This sodium will come with this chlorine and this barium will come with this one. So formula for barium sulfate and rate of sodium chloride is NaCl and then for barium sulfate is BaSO4 because both of them are going to have 2, 2. This is 2 and sulfate is also 2. So 2 and 2 BaSO4. So you have to write this formula. Aapko isi tarah se formula likhna hai. Samaj aaya? Everybody understood? In the class? Yes, sir. Okay. So, yes. Amar, Hashit, Ridwan and other students, you need to keep in mind that chemistry is not a very tough subject. It is very, very easy. But kuch chizu ko to hume yaad karna hota hai. Kuch chizu na practice se apne aap a jate. Just for example, अब आपको पता है बता दिया गया है कि अगर कोई सामने आएगा तो ब्रेक ब्रेक लगाना है ठीक है आपको गाड़ी चला रहे हैं आपके सामने कोई आ रहा है तो ब्रेक लगाना है लेकिन आपके सामने कोई आदमी आ जाता है गन गन लेकर के सपोज करो आप बाइक आप कार पर हैं आपके सामने कोई गन लेके आ जाता है तो आप ब्रेक 